everyone, welcome to our class in the box. I'm Olivia Graham and I teach fine art and every month I show you how to use a new medium to complete four projects. This month we're using gouache. Gouache is a water-based paint and we're going to show you how to do snowdrops, which is our first project. So the way it works is our boxes contain everything you need to complete four projects and some spare paper so you can be more creative and then go on and do some more inspired work. Um, if you've never used the medium of gouache, then I'm doing a little video tutorial so you can follow that. It's called the Warm Up Gouache Tutorial and I will show you how to use the paint and how to uh, overlap the layers, how to mix the paint and how it reacts because it's slightly different to watercolours um, in the way it dries and in the way you can use it. Um, if not, then you can follow this tutorial. You can pause or fast forward at any time you like and I will accompany you throughout all the stages. For the snowdrops today, we are going to use a very simple poster style um, way of painting. And uh, we are going to need only four colors. So I've got two greens, a yellow and a white. And um, the way we're going to do it is we're going to start building on the white and all the little flower heads here um, in the first step. Then second step, we're going to add some green details onto the head of the flowers. Then we'll start in step three, mixing our two greens to uh, create our lovely stems and add some details in the flowers. And in step four, we'll, we'll do the finishing touches, which will really bring out the poster style effect with sort of um, thick lines of white and, and, and mixed greens on the ground and on the stems. Um, so yes, yeah, so you need four colors. You need a palette. I'm using a little porcelain plate but you can use um, anything to contain your paint. I've got a piece of cartridge paper here, which is this thin paper, um, just to test the consistency of my paint. I've got a round brush and uh, two jars with some clean water and some kitchen paper to um, dry my brushes and, and wipe them off. So um, the first thing we're going to do before we start painting is we're going to trace our outline. So when you do your tracing, uh, you have got in your box a sheet of graphite paper like this one. Graphite paper is tracing paper, essentially. It's got a shiny side and a matte side. So you put the shiny side down onto your card or your watercolour paper or whichever paper you're tracing on. And then you apply your outline on top. Secure it with some washi tape so it doesn't move when you're tracing. And simply trace over the outline. So um, I forgot to say, just to, as a little tip, if you are worried about uh, forgetting some little bits and when you do the outline, you can use a coloured pencil so you can see exactly where you've been. Okay. So we're going to start with white um, and I'm going to lay the colours on my palette. Now the beauty of gouache is that if it dries on the palette, you can reactivate it um, with some water. So um, just we're just putting enough for today's project. So as you can see, it's a, a very small pea size, particularly for the yellow. Uh, and I'm going to demonstrate with the greens maybe a little bit more there. And obviously we can top it up um, later on. So um, do remember with uh, gouache, we add water a little at a time, not too much because unlike watercolor, we want to keep it quite opaque. So I'm just dipping my brush into a little bit of water and then um, grabbing some paint. And as you can see, it's relatively opaque. So and I'm going to start to paint in the flowers. I'm going to start from the top and I'm going to work my way down. Um, because we're working on blue paper or colored paper, um, the, the paper will probably come through 
uh, when we put in our first layer. So we will need to put a second layer of white onto our flowers. So I am just painting in the flowers using the tip of my brush and working my way, flattening my brush in the middle of the petals to um, spread the paint and then um, doing some more gentle strokes on the edges. So um, at this stage, we're trying to spread the paint, uh, remembering that we will get a, we will get a second layer um, just to create a really nice smooth finish. So I'm going to add some more white because I've done all my first layer and as you can see it's gone a little bit trans, um, translucent, the paper is visible. So we're just going to add a little bit of white and this time we're not going to dilute it at all. We're just going to put the minimum amount of water um, and just paint over, paint over our flowers. Okay, so we're going to stop here with the white and we're going to move on to phase two where we're going to add the little green buds, um, the little heads here on the top of the of the flag. Right, so now we're going to move on to the second phase where we're adding the green buds um, and we're going to use some green for that um, and a little bit of white. So um, we're going to add some more white to my palette and um, as you can see, I'm just adding a little at a time because um, we can reactivate the white that is here, for example. You can see if I'm just adding water, um, it will it will reactivate. I can show you on a on a piece of paper, so I'm just able to reactivate it um, with water. Right, but um, I'm going to start with the green. So I'm cleaning my brush. These and um, I'm going to start with a brighter green. So don't if you put too, if you have too much water, make sure to dab to dab your brush on your kitchen paper and um, sort of work your paint. So my paint 
has dried a little bit. There's a little layer on the outside. So I'm just reactivating it with my wet brush. So you can do a little test here to see um, how diluted it is. And it is quite opaque. So I'm going to use this, um, this green just as it is neat. And I'm just going to start painting in the little heads over the uh, flowers. So we've done our little um, little heads of our flowers and now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to move on to step three here and in step three we're going to start painting in the stems and we're going to do the little details in the flowers so um, once again there's going to be two two or three colors in those so we're going to start painting in some some details so you can you can follow the same pattern as here or you can create your own uh, your own version. So I'm just going to use this mix with a slightly, slightly diluted. So add a tiny bit of water just to reactivate it if it's gone dry. Um, a bit of white. And I'm going to start painting in some detail on the petals, on the white petals. So um, now what we're going to do is we're going to paint in all our, our stems and our leaves um, on the base. So um, we'll start with the mix we've got here. Maybe add a little bit more dark green on there just to, um, just to make it slightly darker. So um, it might be worth, I haven't got enough green here, so I'm just going to add a little bit more to my palette. Just make sure you've got enough sort of to cover the whole surface. And we're just going to work on the first color and then we'll add a second layer with the uh, the brighter, lighter green and then we'll finish with the white on, in step four. So um, let's just start with a slightly darker green and we want this to be opaque so we don't want to add too much water to it. Um, so I'm just testing it. Um, I've always got my spare of a spare piece of card or you can do the, this on the back of the card if you want um, just to check that your color you're happy with the consistency so that is quite opaque so I'm going to go with this um, and maybe add a little bit darker green to it
Okay, so we've done our first layer for our um, stems and um, we're going to now do a little uh, mix. We're going to add a bit of yellow sort of to build up um, the second layer and also because properly like me, you can still see the outline on your paper. So if you have put your yellow early on like me, you need to reactivate it with some water like this. There you are. So we've got our yellow and um, we're going to add it to some green and some white. I'm using all the yellow um, and I'll probably add some more in a bit. This is going to act as our light. Um, so start with the top top stems here. So we're not going along the whole of the stem. Need to make a bigger mix. There. So when I'm when I'm turning my brush like this, I am just um, spreading the paint back on the palette because it was quite clogged with paint. So I'm just turning it gently and the paint um, comes back on the palette. So we're going to use this mix here, which is really a mix of the yellow, the white and this green. So um, yeah, this second layer is a bit better. So um, I'm going to start building on the uh, lower area now. So we're moving on sort of the, the, the fourth stage. Um, so we're going to go over our light areas again with, the, with this mix we've just done. And then we're going to add some white. And in fact, there's a few more leaves. If you, you know, you're, you can add a few more leaves on the bottom. So we're going to do that as well. Um, and it's just sort of finishing the finishing touches from now on. So um, I'm going to do a variety of mixes. I'm going to start with a slightly darker mix just to go a little bit over the flowers and to create some more petals and some um, little um, shiny um, ray rays of light on the floor. So dark ones, mid green and white ones.
on to the last step, which is to um, to put the white in all the different areas on the bottom. So I'm going to clean my brush, clean the water, and we'll um, start with a fresh batch of white. Um, so now we're going to move on to the last step uh, of the phase uh, four, uh, which is just going to be to put all the little uh, white flakes of paint around um, just to, to brighten it up and to bring some light to it. So I've got some white here, which I've mixed sort of very slightly with some uh, water. Um, so it's got to be nice and thick consistency. And we're going to use that. So I'm going to uh, point with my finger which areas I'm, I'm painting in. So um, could stop here, um, or the uh, the one thing you could do if you have got some spare yellow on your palette is you could do a little mix. So I'll just show you a little mix of yellow and um, and white, and sort of um, grab some green, very very little green, and do a, a little. A little wash here and then I'll just... Okay, so I'm going to stop now. Um, quite happy with the with the warmth stuff. Just added at the end here. So uh, make sure you wash your brush with um, some um, washing up liquid or some soap, and then dry it flat, not head down in the in the pot of water because you will damage it. And then uh, the lovely point that we've got here, we we need it for other projects. So um, yes, look after your brushes. And um, this wood should be dry very quickly so that you can then, um, well, you can frame it if you want or, or just display it. But um, so this is a way to use gouache in a poster, in a poster effect. So I hope you've enjoyed doing our snow dogs today. It's quite different to do it on a colored paper. And um, this is the version I did with you. Um, and just to show you the slight difference, this is the version I did for our um, prints, which were sent to your homes. And you can see the green is slightly more yellow. So it depends on your mixes. And again, you can use your spare paper to um, experiment with colors and perhaps do slightly different version or even a different uh, spring flowers. And next week, I will show you how to use the gouache in a more watercolor style. So it'll be a mix of opaque and watercolor with our teacups. 
Um, also, thank you very much for sharing your images on our Facebook community and sending us lovely messages and also for letting us know what you would like to do in the future. We've had some requests and as we're still creating for the next months to come, we do take into account all the suggestions you make. So please do send us your ideas. Until next time, thank you very much for joining me today.